Stay with the devil at your own risk. All right, hello everybody. This is Nick from thearcadehunters.com welcoming you back for a brand new pinball video. And today I have the honor of checking out game number 10 from Jersey Jack Pinball from lead designer Mike Seiden. This is Avatar, the battle for Pandora. Now, Mark Seiden was a homebrew designer. He did a really great Metroid game. I never got to play it. I wish I got to see it. I've seen uh, photos of it. It looked really cool. After he did that video, uh, after he did that game, um, they got signed on as a contractor over at Jersey Jack Pinball as a designer. And he did work with Steve Ritchie on the latest game that they did, which was the Elton John Machine. And this is his first game as a lead designer. And you can see, once again, Jersey Jack goes all out. They have those LED hot rails on here. Now, once again, Jersey Jack does their games. They name them differently. So this is what we call the limited edition. Now, this is the one that is currently out. The other one um, that is coming out soon, I think um, they posted over here in November because um, they should have them ready for the trade show, uh, IAPA, here in Florida. Um, they have their collector's edition, which is the more expensive one. Now, a lot of people have been trying to, they were saying, oh, it's so hard to get videos of this game because it uses blue UV ink. Now, if you guys saw the previous one that Stern did for their Stranger Things, Stern, uh, Jersey Jack was like, hold my beer. So on this version of the game, on the limited edition, Unfortunately, I don't have um, a thing to plug in to show you uh, with a black light, but you can see right here, there's these letters. Now, when they light up in the game, it will spell out the word Pandora, and that's how you get into the wizard mode. Right now, um, the game is on, I think, version, like, 9.5 or something like that, so it's not yet... Why so blue? And then I forget the actor's name, but uh, the actor from the... Uh, played the commander in the first Avatar movie. Also want to give a special shout out. Pinball at the Beach is coming your way at St. Pete. We're going to be doing it February 8th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Check it out. It's going to be a big show. We're going to have a ton of stuff there. Um, brand new Spooky Pinball game is going to be there. But right now, let's check out more of Avatar. I want to show off more of a uh, player's perspective. I don't think you get, like, um, I still complain that I have only one camera. I don't have the whole streaming rig. I feel like you don't get to see much of the stuff and I'm going to be able to zoom in. So you can see, let's start off with the right ramp over here. So that's like, they have an eclipse spinner up there. Supposedly that's like a really tight shot. I already played one game. I didn't hit it once. Over here, you can see it says dive. Now they're calling this a scramp, a scoop ramp. So you can see right now the metal's down on it. And then of course the music has to start while I'm uh, narrating it. But that will actually flip open and it becomes a scoop. Now you can shoot the scoop, the bowl will come down here, and there's a pop bumper with these little targets over here. Let me see if I can get a better view of the target bank right here. Now you use the flipper buttons and you can control the target bank and you have to try to knock them all down. And then when you go down, you basically dive further into the water because yes, we have a mini pinball machine down here. So this is the crab battle from the second movie. And you have to battle the crab. There's a couple things that you bash into them. And there's two orbit shots that you shoot on there. And that will get you, um, let me see what the name of the other multi-ball is. Because there's two main multi-balls. There's battle for the Hallelujah Mountains. That's the stuff for over here that coincide with the first movie. And then the other one is battle of Awa Atlu. Once again, it's using all those weird um, Navi names for all their weird naming things on there. So it has a very small uh, pinball, kind of like what they um, used previously on the Monsters, pre um, little mini play field. You can see over here, we have a whole bunch of toys on the machine. Got a little, uh, get the little mech suit on there. All that stuff was from uh, McFarlane Toys. So they put a they put a big thing out there saying congratulations on the game. 
Um, so this will show you how many balls you have locked for Hallelujah Mountain Multi Ball. And pretty much like what they did previously with the Godfather, there's a lot of cool, unique things up here. I'm going to get up here to show you. You can see there's like a little scoop shot in there and it shoots it up to the vertical up kicker that feeds the top right flipper. Um, there's also a magnet back there that drops it into a, um, I think there's like right behind here, you can't really see it behind the ramp. I'm pretty sure that what feeds, it goes inside here to the lock. And there's also a stopper up here. So when you shoot up there and you, you hit it and you do the stopper, that's like for the mystery awards and stuff like that. So really cool stuff. You can see it has the, uh, the floating rocks and stuff like that. Now, the UV ink doesn't qualify to just the play field. It's even on the side art, and that's going to be on both versions of the game. So, like I said, right now, this is the one that's out currently, the limited edition. So, this one only has one color of that UV. So, hopefully, we'll see some of it while we play the game, because I've seen uh, when they, they did a really great, uh, about 10-minute long video, on their channel when they launched the game and you can see even in the flipper area it glows and lights up looks really really sharp on there so big congratulations to all the guys over there at Jersey Jack for getting out their 10th game it was uh, really cool when I got to go out there years ago to um, when they had the first factory in New Jersey and I got to check them out as they were making the Wizard of Oz and then they had the design for Hobbit and that was even before Hobbit came out. So, you know, they moved over to Chicago, obviously, because that's where all the industry is. And, yep, they got this game out. So, big congratulations to them. I'm going to try to set the camera up on the tripod. I'm going to try to do it from here so you can see um, see that crab battle on there and hopefully get some, uh, once again, the biggest problem that I have with my camera setup doing a Jersey Jack is they use those gorgeous screens on there that are a lot bigger than the Sterns. So, it gets hard to have everything all in one shot. Once again, I apologize, but I want to give you my impressions of the game. I played, as I said, I already played one, um, one game of it. Um, seems like, yeah, it seems really fun. So, um, yeah, let's set that tripod up, and we are going to play a game of Avatar Battle for Pandora Limited Edition. Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Let's check it out. All right, once again, I apologize for not being able to get the uh, full um, display in on the machine. Really want to show off the, um, the little crab thing in there. Um, you're not going to be able to see a lot of the black lights. This is, they're saying, like, this is a game you, got, you want to play in the dark. But, hey, it is what it is. I want to give you my impressions, show you a little bit of the game. Once again, apologies for the crudeness in advance. Let's uh, hit start and see what we got. Obey the rules. So the one good thing is that it will show the... Shoot the purple shot for super skill shot. Thank you. So we got we got a lot of hosts in this Hit game. Hit the action button to select your super yep. skill so shot. So the action button, you can see it will... You can hear that sound. And if you look around on the play field, you'll see there the arrows will turn purple. So I'm trying to get it up there, so I'm going to try to shoot the flipper on the little one and go on that scoop. So let's see if we can do it. Or no, I can just bounce back. Lock one is lit. Once again, wait till you see all of these lights that they put on here. Absolutely beautiful. This game is slowly getting out to places. Um, Mystery is lit. Watching, um, oh, I almost made it up that eclipse ramp. Sun code mode is ready. So what they're saying, um, the song chord is what they call a mode in the game. So there's a scoop shot on uh, the left-hand side that's right, right there that I just tried to shoot for. Probably couldn't see it. So it looks like it's easier to uh, hold it on the, on the right flipper. Use the tip. Right. Cool. From my uh, vantage point, I see some of the um, some of the UV uh, lights are on. But not, not good. Not good. 
Taking my postcard for a pinball at the beach. Because you can do a full shot, it'll go all the way around. Shoot the purple shot for super skill shot. All the way around. Oh, where can you just wreck it? Beat it all day. Oh, here we go, we got, got a lock for uh, Hallelujah Mountain. Ball one locked. I kind of like how they split it up between the two movies, so it feels like the left-hand side is all of the original Avatar movie, and then the second one is uh, is the sequel because it has all the water stuff and the uh, diving into the playfield and stuff like that. Maria yeah. Award. Just hit that sh shot. Fancy combo. Looks like the uh, scoop's open, so we're diving in. Use the flippers to move the lit target. Okay, we got those lit target. You actually got You really got to move. Use the flippers. Nope. Come on. Nope. Well, that's not going to fall Fight the us. wolves. Well, that's good. They gave me, uh, at least they gave me the boats. Hit the action good. button to retrieve arrows. And 2x bonus. bonus. I'll take a bonus. Because since I got nothing. I don't have a goddamn night. First contact. Then into a combo. Impressive. Really wants me to shoot that stupid light not going crazy on my. Forgot to mention the uh, the kickback on this is really uh, unique Look on this. At two point five X. Oh man, he's got it. So there is a kickback, there's a physical kickback on the left-hand side. Now what's cool is when it goes down, the, um, let me see if I can show you with my hand. So usually, like when you get a kickback, it's like that and it knocks it up. This one, it comes up and it, the ball rests on top of the ball, on, on top of the thing, and then Shoot it shoots it back up. Skill shot. So it's a really cool effect. Hit the action button to select a lot of people are, uh, shot. A lot of people are upset there's no more, uh, Stern doesn't use a lot of physical kickbacks, but I'm glad uh, they added that for uh, this game. Spider. Lich shots resist adding a control. So we gotta save this game. Good points. Shoot the left target. I think it's gonna get the thing, there's no more going. <laughs> and I knew that was going down. You get the uh, tight, you get a pretty tight uh, tilt on this, so really don't want to start shaking the, sh shaking the hell out of it. That was one game. Didn't get the... Uh... Maybe next time. Once again, as always, the Jersey Jack games have the webcam built into it, so it takes your pictures. Um, during certain modes, of course, when you put your uh, initials in, it takes your photo. Get to the pass, son. All right, so let's go. We're gonna play one more. That was terrible. All right, here we go. One more. Like I said, this is like my third game, so I gotta figure out the uh, way the shots are. Let some cord move. Now the skills. Are Mr. You gotta get there early. Lock one is lit. We got a lock ready. Now the locks can be shot from either um, either orbit, the left or the right. So love that with the hot rails. The first one they used that was Toy Story on there. Yeah, this is when Toy Story and then. Um, God, God. You oh, will look at that. I'll take it. Lock two is lit. Really thankfully the uh, Lock three is folks lit. at Disney uh, let them have full reign uh, feels like with this license because Thanatol combo. They have a lot of and voice actors. Just put a song called token. Unfortunately, it's been a while since I've seen Avatar, um, so 
I know the one guy is the, you know, the sergeant guy from the uh, first movie, but I'm pretty sure the other um, Navi characters are also um, their movie counterparts, so it sounds pretty good. It's very interesting to see how they were going to do it because, you know, we already had an Avatar game, so that was a big thing, like, we already had an Avatar game, what can they do? <laughs> they can do something. It's really cool on there. Still not showing off fully what, you. what the game has to offer. We send the stone codes to remember Got a whole bunch. Yeah, Jersey Jack, remember, does their, um, oh, we got the Hallelujah Mountain. So at least I get to show something off on camera. Once it, now the, the music, just like with uh, the, um, Elton John is really gonna kick in, so you're not gonna be able to hear that. Here we go. Alright, people, target in sight, range for close. Okay, so the just decreased. shot. So the eclipse is the left branch that has the bear on top of it. So we gotta do that. And Show you the uh, UV. Check this out. So you can see the paw, and you can see right here the little icons that light up. That is all the UV from the. There's lights underneath the playfield that shine the UV on there, so it lets you see um, your Pandora progress letters on there. Really cool stuff. Hit the action button to select your super skill I will, shot. but I have to get the thing on the damn tripod. I break my damn camera. Down. Try to give you a little more of the play field. You can still see the score. As much as I want to show up the animations. Alright, one more. The one thing, once again, that Jersey Jack does differently, you get extra balls at the end. So you still play through all three balls. It's kind of weird from playing uh, so many games that uh, don't do it like that. But that's one of their little differences. Oh, there we go, we got that little 
I am a Metagaia. I am one of you. You got snuck it in there for the uh, ball lock. Ball one lock! Right now the, um, the scoop ramp is down, so um, as much as I want to dive and... Uh, ooh, it's open! Oh! Aw, oh, man! The Tree of Souls! Use the flipper. Also want to give a uh, shout out to the artist of the game. Uh, her name is uh, Leah Fasty, if I say her name per per correctly. I'm pretty sure um, she works over at uh, Wizards of the Coast doing um, stuff for like um, a couple of their other um, card games and stuff like that. She's Would be a jersey jacket if you didn't put the stupid, make a stupid face at the camera. Uses the knocker on You me. have eclipsed all that came before you. Very cool. You have to put, a, you have to have a stupid face on the, on the jersey jacks. So there you go, folks. As a look at the battle for Pandora. Pandora. Very cool stuff. I think uh, everybody out there is going to be very happy with this game. A lot of fun, a lot of cool shots. As I said, the um, the code... Let me see what the code is. If I can open up the machine, it'll show it. Jersey Jacks do there just differently if we show it. So this is version 0, 0 0.93. So this is the first version of their software that has come out from the factory. So does not have the final battle thing in there. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this game shapes up. It's already uh, got pretty good bones on it so far. So once again, Nick from the Arcade Hunters, I want to thank you all very much for uh, checking out this video. Hopefully you get to see this game in your travels. And uh, once again, be sure to check out Pinball at the Beach February 7th, 8th, and 9th. We'll see you there. Take care.